you're watching Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock, I'm Emily Burris in for Jennifer Hawk tonight. And I'm Jeff Gianola. Lawmakers now in both Oregon and Washington pushing for more action amid a growing outbreak of lung injury from vaping. Today, Washington Governor Jay Inslee issued an executive order calling for a ban on all flavored vaping products. His push is being echoed by Oregon lawmakers as both states turn their focus to warning consumers as more illnesses and deaths are reported. We need to act for the public health of our people. An executive order calling for action from lawmakers and health leaders. Washington, now the latest state, moving to ban the sale of flavored vaping products. Vaping, like smoking, is not safe. It never has been, and it never will be. We aren't done in this discussion. This is what I'm doing by this executive order is a floor, not a ceiling. Governor Jay Inslee's order also asks for greater regulation of ingredients and more warnings for consumers. The move comes just one day after the Oregon Health Authority issued a public health warning, announcing a second death in the state linked to lung illness, urging people to stop vaping immediately. I think we are going to see increased number of cases and tragically more deaths. All this is going to do is bring people back to smoking cigarettes. The move is not without controversy, however. Industry owners and many e-cig users are pushing back against flavor bans, arguing it's too much of an overreach. A group gathered in Salem today, sending a message to the Capitol. And so we're out here saying that we are legitimate companies being um, turned into a bad guy um, through, through, through the eyes of our legislature. This is not a vaping issue. This is a THC issue. The CDC now says their investigation suggests suggests THC products play some kind of role in the outbreak and are connected to a large majority of the cases. But scientists caution right now, no one single product, substance or brand can be held responsible. And lawmakers say another reason they are pushing for the flavor ban is because they worry these products specifically target children and teens. The Oregon Health Authority just released policy options for vaping as requested by Governor Brown. We reported that to you yesterday. It includes a temporary ban on the sale of all vaping products. We have more information on those recommendations right now on coin.com. And tonight